Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani, working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the mass addition in fixed asset Oracle Fusion. What is mass addition and in which scenarios we use it? Mass addition is used when you purchase a fixed asset. When you make fixed asset purchase, you create an invoice in accounts payable module. After creating an invoice for fixed asset, you need to run the certain program so that the purchase information of fixed asset will transfer from accounts payable module to fixed asset module. These are the following steps that you need to follow for creating mass addition in Oracle Fusion asset. Create asset invoice in accounts payable, then create accounting for that invoice then transfer invoice lines to fixed assets, then prepare mass addition, then perform post mass addition. In the mass addition process, we will see how to convert the invoice in fixed asset lines. So these are the steps that you have to follow for performing mass addition process. First, you have to create standard invoice in accounts payable. There you have to keep one thing in mind that you have to select the asset clearing as distribution combination. You have to validate that invoice and create accounting by post to ledger. And this is a mandatory step. Step number four is create mass addition from payables. Then you have to prepare source lines. You have to give the details of the asset. Then run the post mass addition process. After performing these seven steps, you have to inquire about the asset from asset inquiry workbench. From there, you can know that whether your asset is transferred from payables to asset. Now we will move to our application to see how to perform this practically go to navigator from here go to invoice workbench go to task list click on create invoice Give the supplier name here. Give the number of the invoice. Give the cost of the invoice here. Now expand the lines. Here, while selecting the distribution combination, you have to keep in mind that for creating asset, you need to select the account as asset clearing. This is the same accounting combination that we have selected while creating the categories. Click on OK. Now we have to validate this invoice. So go to invoice action and click on validate. You can see the status here. Now it is validated. Now click on save and close. Again, go to task list. Click on manage invoices. Search the invoice that you have created. 
select this data click on approval now you have to make accounting for this invoice so click on post this is a mandatory process so you can see here accounting is complete click on ok now go to scheduled processes so go to navigator click on scheduled processes click on schedule new process search the process create mass addition why we are running this process it will transfer the capital invoice line from oracle fusion payable to oracle fusion asset by running this process it can perform transferring from payables to asset Select this create mass addition and click on OK. Now here you have to give the accounting date. Accounting date means the date till which you want to transfer the invoice to fixed asset. Select the date here. So till this date. all the invoices that are having distribution combination as asset clearing will be transferred from payables to fixed asset here you have to select the asset book from which book you need to transfer you have to select here now click on submit this is how process has been submitted click on okay click on refresh icon you can see the status of this process so this is succeeded now now we will go, go to asset workbench to see whether the invoice is transferred to fixed asset or not click on asset you can see the invoice that we have created is transferred here now click on this data go to actions and click on add it by doing this we can add the category to this invoice click on add it you can see here you can give the rest of the detail about this asset through this page you can see the category field is not mandatory here because the queue status is new when we change the queue status from new to post you can see the category field will become mandatory it is because the system will understand that this invoice line is ready to post in fixed asset you can select the asset number here or system will generate automatically give the description
you can give the asset type here here you can give the manufacturer detail if you have the model number of this asset you can mention it here if there is any employee who have to look after this asset you can mention his name here on a random uh, basis i am selecting anyone from them this is the general information say if you want to change the life from 60 years to 40 years you can select here here you can give the pro rata convention that means the depreciation method or you can say the date from which the depreci depreciation will get calculated now go to source information so these are the information here you have to select the location this is how you can add the additional information to this asset and also you can select the category now click on save and close now you have to perform post mass addition you have to click on this option that is ready to post now select the line and click on post all you can see the message here that this asset additions were submitted again go to asset workbench and click on asset inquiry now you can see this invoice in our asset additions you can see here so this is how you can perform the mass addition process thank you so much for watching